<coughs> Here's a quick comments on sign measures. Sign measure is a function which lives on some ring of subsets and which returns not necessarily positive or non negative values, so it just returns real numbers, uh, which satisfies the following properties. It is additive in the sense uh, regular measures, positive measures, uh, additive, and also, I mean, that, that's it in fact. That's it. In fact, that's, that's what we call sign measures, but most of the time we will consider sigma additive sign measures and the measures is sigma additive when you also have the sigma additivity identity for any sequence a n from your ring. And of course, we also have to require that the union, disjoint union, is also in the ring because ring is not necessarily semi, uh, sorry, sigma ring. Uh, in this identity, you read this identity as follows. You say that the right-hand side is an absolutely converging numerical series, and the result of this convergence equals to left-hand side. That's how you read this identity. Now, everything a person should know about sign measures, I collected in the following lemma. If you look at the sign measure, which lives on a sigma ring rather than just the ring, then the properties of such sign measures are all of them are collected, all important properties collected here. Uh, uh, the supremum of the measure of sign measure across the subsets of a given element A is always finite, as well as the infimum is always finite for any element of your original sigma ring. Uh, the second property, which will follow from the first one, is that if you have a set of positive measure, of positive sign measure from your sigma ring, then there is a special subset, A0, such that the measure positive for every subset of this A0. These kind of sets, the sets are like this, uh, the sets uh, for which every subset delivers a positive number, they call positive sets of the sign measure mu. Positive set of mu. So, uh, shortly speaking, the brief version of part 2 says that for every positive set, sorry, no, for every measurable subset, uh, where the sign measure delivers positive value, there is a positive subset A0 in, in, in this sense. Now, the third one, the third property I want to list, that's the, it has a name, it's called the Han decomposition. And it says, it's another development of property number two now. And it says that there are special subsets, a plus and a minus, such that they disjoint, uh, they cover the whole universal set, and a plus is a positive set, and a minus is a negative set, meaning that the measure of every subset of A is positive, and the measure of every subset of a minus, sorry, the measure of every subset of A plus is positive, and measure of every subset of A minus in positive. Of course, B here uh, from my sigma ring F. Otherwise, this doesn't make sense. Otherwise, this one doesn't make sense. Uh, now, the final property, which is immediate consequence of the property number three, is this one. If you introduce the functions like this, M plus. Uh, which will return on B the measure of the intersection like that and a minus which is like this so if you introduce the functions like this then both of them individually will be sigma additive measures proper in a proper sense so there will be non-negative measures and the connection with the original sign measure is like this so Part 4 says to us that every sign measure can be decomposed disjointly into the difference of two normal measures.
and that's why when people study sign measures they effectively reduce their uh, arguments to a plus and a sorry m plus and m minus individually.